A trip the Bulldogs would like to forget. Coming off a bye week, high hopes the dogs could right the ship. Despite losing starting quarterback Jake Hayner to injury, Fresno State still favored by 23 over UConn, but the Huskies had other plans. With Hayner out, Logan Fife in first quarter, and the kid from Tracy just loses the ball there as he reaches back. A bad sign of things to come this afternoon. Second quarter, Nico Remigio, the bright spot in today's game, returns the punt. Let's count the, count the broken tackles. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Another spin move, and he's got red jerseys in front. Remigio takes it 87 yards to the house to get the dogs on the board. Their first special teams touchdown of the year. But the offense would continue to struggle. Huskies in the red zone in the fourth, and Devontae Houston finds a crease, takes it in for the touchdown. UConn up 19-14. Last chance here. Fife trying to find Zane Pope, but Pope drops it there with a minute 25 to go. And that would be the nail in the coffin as UConn runs out the clock, stunning Fresno State. 19 to 14, the Huskies' first FBS win since 2019. A long plane ride home for the Bulldogs. You know, it's not like us. It's not on brand for the type of football that this program builds and uh, puts out. And at the end of the day, we need to get better. So it's uh, yeah, it's not it. And the Bulldogs with no easy bounce back as they have to head to the blue turf once more to face Boise State next Saturday. Big 12 action, Longhorns up big on West Virginia. Card rolling and watch the concentration here. Xavier Worthy with the tip drill, touchdown. The central grad is just absurd. Longhorns take it 38 to 20. 15th rank UW taking on UCLA. Both teams unbeaten. Michael Penix Jr. finds Jalen McMillan and he does the rest. The SJM grad showing out there, but the Bruins hang on 40 to 32, moving to 5 and 0 and handing the Huskies their first loss under Kalen DeBoer. Upset alert in Fort Worth, TCU running all over Oklahoma today. 668 yards of total offense like this QB keeper from Max Dugan untouched. But to make matters worse, Dylan Gabriel going down there for the Sooners, a vicious hit to the head. TCU takes it 55-24. And a scary moment here in another Mountain West matchup. Spartan defensive lineman Noah Wright goes down with what appears to be a head and neck injury. The Lamore and COS grad down on the field for 15 minutes and he was taken off in a stretcher but a positive sign here as he threw up a peace sign to his teammates and fans watching before the injury Wright securing a safety for San Jose State as they defeated Wyoming 33-16. Seems to be the unfortunate theme this week from head injuries in college to the NFL. The unaffiliated neurotrauma consultant involved in clearing Miami Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungavailoa during last Sunday's game against the Buffalo Bills has been fired. According to ESPN, the firing came after it was made clear that the consultant made, quote, several mistakes. Now, just two days ago, Tua suffered a concussion against the Bengals. Tunga Vailoa remained on the field for roughly 12 minutes before he was taken away on a stretcher and eventually to the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. The quarterback remains in the concussion protocol with no timetable set for his return. It's going to be a tough one for Fresno State coming back, Alex. Yeah, we're going to talk with Coach Tedford. Of course, we'll have more on Bulldog Breakdown, but uh, not the season many expected.